Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fitbit Charge 3. It is a device that is focused more on health as opposed to being on the go. So this is a good alternative to the Apple Watch if you're not looking for something with such advanced features. I'm going to be going through all the features. I've had it for over a year so I feel like I can finally give a very good comprehensive view about what is good, what isn't good, um, and some alternatives. I won't do too much about the alternatives. I will list them. Uh, I don't have them because those were not things I was considering so I will just be going with that. Before we continue to the actual review, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I have a Fitbit right here. We're gonna just I'm gonna give it a good look. I got it for $129 from Costco and the whole deal was that you got an extra wristband which was actually dumb at first but believe it or not because I wore my wristband every day this wristband the old one actually broke because it's made of rubber and it lasted nine months I would say before it did that and I was wearing it every day I can't remember a day I did not wear it it doesn't die very quickly I've seen alternatives my brother has a fossil watch which has a lot of features like you can control Spotify that's linked on your phone and other things that needs to be charged and it doesn't even last an entire day this on the other hand will last multiple days on end you can go up to like five or six days I believe it's I think the bandwidth the manual release is a week I usually charge it every other day and it's like it charges very quickly it doesn't use too much so now for the features so you can actually check text messages on the phone regardless of what kind of phone you have only for Samsung's can you actually reply from the Fitbit itself for iPhones which is what I have you can actually see the message it's better that way if you're exercising or doing something else you can just see if the text is important and if it is you can actually use your phone if it's not then you don't need to you can't control music or other things but you can see the time date steps and then if you scroll down you can get a more in-depth view you can actually customize through the app on the phone which features you want to see on the screen so the ones I picked were how many hours a day am I active my heartbeat how many miles I've walked the calories I've burned sleep other things it just has a summary of the most important things to you if you slide sideways you get other features as well and then you can also clear text messages I really like the wristband it this one is much more breathable than the other one and it doesn't actually look like it's gonna fall apart about the other one it has a lot of features I mean uh, it can look through the phone app and show you guys some more personal things it's just a basic app um, essentially the Fitbit just it monitors everything so if you want a really comprehensive look at anything you look at the phone app. I personally very very rarely look at my actual watch and tracker unless I need the time. I don't really use it for anything else but what you can do is you can track food through it. It has a very comprehensive database so you can log pretty much any food. It has foods that aren't just like American. It has I hate saying ethnic, but I'm just going to say ethnic so I can encompass all non-burger, non, I don't know, ordinary foods, I guess. So you can do all of that and it helps you log in so you can see how many calories you're consuming, especially if you're trying to lose or gain weight so you know how much you have to. It has a water function. You can actually put a lot of it has like a bunch of features like you can add which ones you want so if you want to kick a salt habit or do push-up prep it basically has a bunch of options for features you can add like I said you can log your water on here so you can see how much water am I drinking blah 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 this is something that you have to intentionally remember to do so I don't really use that one there is one for weight so you can see how much your weight is changing every day there is one for how many hours you do per hour they recommend 250 per hour and it tells you how many hours you are active it has stuff for periods as well it tells you it like if you put your information in it'll tell you like oh this is when your period's gonna be and then if you put in for you can actually put more specific information is it heavy light uh, any symptoms you have your moods other things you can add that all in there the favorite thing for me is the sleeps uh, tracker if you have Fitbit premium and has a more in-depth view of it and they had a 90 day free trial so I figured why not take it so I can I'm gonna actually review that in a separate video but basically it gives you a sleep score out of a hundred it tells you how many hours and then it also breaks down how much REM sleep did you get how long were you awake how much deep sleep it breaks down everything it gives you a score for each individual section so for example I don't know how zoomed in this is going to look but it tells you the individual scores for each section and based on how much like 
points it is, is how important it is. So for example, time of sleep in general is considered the most important factor of how well you slept because the more average or the longer you sleep, the better. And then deep and REM sleep, how long that was, they also track that. It has a lot of details. Like it tells you how average your sleep is, like your specific times are to your other times based on the last month or however long you want. And then it t compares it based on the general population, how many people are sleeping this much, how many people are awake this much, and things like that. You can also track exercise. The Fitbit picks up when you are doing something active. Although sometimes if I walk up and down the stairs like three or four times it thinks I'm w working out, especially if I do it in a row, like, oh maybe I need to bring up some stuff, sometimes it thinks that. But in general it gets it. You can also log it in there if you want to keep better track of it. Through the app there's also a form forum for community, so it, there's like one for vegetarian eating, healthy eating. It has a bunch of options. You can just join on there. I'm looking at them. They have a lot of options. You can post pictures. It's really got the group aspect to it and there are actually extra features for the group functions through the premium. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate review on it because it is actually very expensive if you go directly without doing the free trial, which I feel like I could never do because it's like I've noticed the features are okay, but there are other options. The other thing you can do is this whole front page you can actually customize it. So if you don't want this to be up here, if you want some of these other features to be moved around, you can actually change any of them. You can pick the order you want the features to show up in, you can pick where you want it to. It's really customized to your individual liking. Some other minor, not as important things, you can actually change change the clock face so if you don't like this ordinary clock face you can pick a different one. Personally over the last year it's helped me track my eating habits, how much I exercise, how regularly I'm doing it, how much I'm sleeping, how much my lack of sleep is really affecting me. If for like a week I see oh my god I've only gotten six hours of sleep I know I really have to prioritize that. I know that's what's affecting my energy levels and my mental health. It's definitely helped me lead a more healthier lifestyle noting everything that I eat for some people, they, they seem to think it's not healthy, but if you're unsure why you're losing or not gaining weight, either of them, this is the perfect way. It has no, made me notice like, oh my god, I didn't realize all these things had so many calories, blah blah blah. And it's definitely helped me change my lifestyle around. It's helped me become healthier. It's helped me realize like, wow, I really do need to note what I put in my body. And I'm when I think I'm being healthy, I might not necessarily be being healthy. And the... Fitbit helps me track that. Like I said, it's super customized. It doesn't just have these features. I said, in fact, they have specific ones like if you want to kick a salt habit, it has a program for that. It has all kinds of things across the globe. It is really, really personalized. Like I said, for the text messages, it is a little bit limited in the department, but this is really focusing on health. This is not so much about enjoying everything. You, there is a way to sync your music through the app as well. So there are some features for customization, but you cannot control any music platforms through the Fitbit itself. There's very little you can actually control on here, which personally I don't mind. This is just like an overview, like, oh my god, did I, you know, walk enough? steps today and things like that when you're known and like oh my god do I need to extend the length of my run for the day because I didn't get enough steps and things like that it's just like a quick thing and it's also a tracker so that it can give you more in-depth information on the actual app so that is my review of the Fitbit Charge 3 I will try and link it below uh, FYI, for certain credit cards, they have an insurance policy so if it doesn't work within the first I don't know how long but you can basically get the company credit card company to pay for a new one so if you are worried about getting something like this i would definitely recommend checking into credit cards like that or maybe you do have a credit card like that and you didn't even realize that they had these features so i would definitely check that out my aunt did that and basically her son got a new fitbit for free because her son stopped working after a year it it was honestly awesome and i was afraid i was gonna have to do that overall i really do like it i don't regret it sometimes i wish i got like a fancier thing like an apple watch but then i'm like the apple watch doesn't do the in-depth sleep things and i really really like how it has like given me the in-depth sleep information because i think that's better than just getting text messages on your uh Apple Watch because personally I think there's a point where being connected is too much and I think the Apple Watch 
is that so I understand why it's necessary for some people you know their jobs are always on the go they need messages all the time I get that I'm not in that position I'm just a college student so I prefer the way this works for me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up I'm gonna put related videos in the card and the description box don't forget to also check out my podcast and my Instagram give me a follow and uh, you can leave feedback for my podcast if you have any other videos you're looking forward to or would like me to do don't forget to let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned for my next video.